Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft pushed out two brand new builds for the Windows Insiders. We get a new Dev Channel build and we get a new Beta Channel build. Now, first of all, focusing on the Dev Channel, um, the build is 26120.470. And that rolled out with the update KB5037864. Now, there's not too much going on. Uh, in the dev channel and the beta channel actually when it comes to new features but nonetheless just to keep you guys posted first of all for the dev channel microsoft says that this update includes a small set of improvements and fixes that improve the overall experience for insiders running this build on their pcs and then the uh, so-called new feature might cause a bit of debate um, where microsoft say they are introducing a new game pass recommendation card um, on the settings home page and they also mentioned that the game pass recommendation card on settings home page will be shown to you if you actively play games on your pc so that's important and uh, some may consider this to be an ad and some may not so if you are using um if you are actively actively playing games on your PC, this may be a nice move in the right direction. For others, maybe not. And Microsoft also mentions that um, basically the settings homepage will be shown only on Home and Pro editions of Windows 11 if you're signed into Windows with your Microsoft account. So just take note of that. And then um, over and above that for the uh, the dev channel they've also fixed an issue that was causing some insiders to experience an install error 0x8007371b when trying to install a previous uh, dev channel build 26120.461 and then over and above that they've got a whole lot of different fixes and obviously um, the dev channel is still early days so um, Microsoft obviously trying to patch a couple of issues uh, in the dev channel for last week. Now moving on to the beta channel, um, that was build 22635.3575 and that rolled out with the update KB5037862 and the same applies, not much gain on when it comes to new features, just, just one worth mentioning for the purpose of this video and uh, as we can see here, um, Microsoft say they are rolling out the ability to copy files from the Windows uh, share window. Just click uh, the new copy button. And I actually think if you are using this feature, that may be a step forward. And for the Canary channel build that rolled out last week, which I posted on, and that will be in the end screen, there are also a couple of new upgrades to the share menu. So uh, Microsoft giving the share menu in the insider program quite a lot of attention so as mentioned that video will be in the end screen if you'd like to go check that out and over and above that um they're also starting to roll out a fix where you will see a search box if the taskbar auto hides when the setting for search on the taskbar is set to search box so basically um that's just a little um, new improvement and then they also made a fix to help address an issue where the address bar drop down um in the file explorer so obviously, if we head to the File Explorer, uh, if you are typing anything into the address bar, the drop-down menu, um, th th that fix helps address an issue where the address bar drop-down would appear unexpectedly on its own because focus moved unexpectedly to the address bar. So um, those are import that's quite an important fix uh, for the beta channel. And over and above that, we get some known issues uh, for widgets and so on because obviously although beta is closer to stable it is still in preview and uh, that's more or less what's happening for the beta channel and also in the dev channel for last week as mentioned not really too much going on when it comes to front facing features uh, we just get the copy for sharing and obviously that uh, discover your next favorite game if you are playing games on your pc which may be considered to be an ad for some and that's, as mentioned, for the uh, dev and the beta channel, what was going on when it comes to new features. And over and above the new features, really, for the dev channel, it's really just a bug fix update. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.